In this video, I will show you how to fix the Fortnite Crash Reporter. This should be a quick and easy tutorial to follow, but before we do continue, please consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. The Fortnite Crash Reporter can be very annoying, but I do have a few fixes you can try to hopefully resolve this problem and get you back to playing Fortnite. Now, to start with, what you're going to want to do is open up the Epic Games Launcher, and from here, you want to come up to the top right-hand corner, click onto your profile icon, and on this menu, come and click onto Settings. Now, once you're on your settings, what you need to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom, and at the bottom, you should see a Manage Game section with Fortnite. Click onto Fortnite, and that's going to expand and bring up some further options. Now, what you want to do is tick this box here, which says Additional Command Line Arguments. Then, into the box that appears underneath, put the following command, which is a dash D3 D out out. Once you've done that, what you can do is come up to the top left hand corner, click on this arrow to go back a screen, and then what you want to do is come over to the menu on the left hand side, click onto library, and you should see Fortnite in your game's library. Now from here, if you come to Fortnite, what you want to do is click onto the three dots here, just underneath, and on this menu that comes up, click onto manage. Then what you need to do is locate installation just down here, and you want to click onto this little folder icon here, which is going to open up the install location. From here, what you need to do is double click onto Fortnite game, then binaries, and then Win64. Now in this folder, what you want to do is scroll down and you should see the Fortnite launcher and the Fortnite client. So these two applications here. Now what you're going to want to do first is select the Fortnite launcher, right click onto it. On this menu that comes up, click onto properties. And in the properties window, you want to come up to the top and click onto compatibility. There's a couple of things we're going to change in here. The first option to change is compatibility mode, which is this one here. So what you want to do is tick this box and leave this selected to Windows. 8. Then come down to the settings section and tick the box here to disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. Once that's done, come down, click apply and OK. And what you want to do is repeat this for this Fortnite client as well. So again, right click onto the Fortnite client. On this menu, click onto properties, come up and click onto compatibility. And again, we're just going to tick the box for compatibility mode, full screen optimizations and run program as administrator. Make sure again to click apply and okay and it's just one final file we're going to do this for so what you want to do is scroll up to the top and look for the easy anti-cheat folder double click to open up this folder and on the easy anti-cheat eos setup again repeat this process so right click properties come up to the top compatibility and then tick the relevant boxes click apply and okay now that's done what you can do is close this window down Come back to Fortnite and see if you can launch a game. Now, if you're still having problems at this point, there's one final fix you can do. So if you come to Fortnite, again, click onto the three dots underneath. And what you want to do is click onto options. And basically, there's an option here called Fortnite Save the World. If you actually go ahead and check this box, come down, click apply, and it's just going to take a minute or two to run through and update. Once the update has finished, that should actually resolve the problem, and you should now be able to launch Fortnite and play it successfully without the Fortnite Crash Report error. So that is how to fix Fortnite Crash Reporter. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel with that being said i just want to take a minute thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and i will see you in the next video